for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 2 building structural model with friction dampers as per is 456 uh, sorry as per the seismic coding provisions by using e tap software so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done for the respected g plus 2 building structural model so go to click on the e tap software here so this is my building model this is the ground level which is nothing but the base so click on this option so this is the plinth level for this so this is the ground floor slab and again it will be consisting of first floor slab and second floor slab here like this okay so for this building i was taken the material properties which is related to the m30 grade concrete and hysd bars of 415 grade steel again in the same process i was taken the beam size which is consisting of 0.4 cross 0.3 and column size is 0.4 cross 0.3 in the same process i was consider the uh, slab thickness which is consisting of approximately 150 mm so for this building i was define the load cases which are comes under the dead loading condition live loading condition seismic loading condition so the building will be comes under g plus 2 structural model which is having height is 9 meter height so as per is 875 part 3 it was suggested that if the building height is exceeds the 10 meter we need to consider the seismic loading sorry wind loading condition system but here in this case it was having only the height is 9 meter section so that's why no need to consider the uh, wind loading condition system for the particular building okay so firstly i will show you the uh, properties which is considered for the uh, friction dampers uh, assignment okay so this these are the properties which are comes under the friction dampers property which is having the mass is 2200 kg and weight is 0.00225 kN and effective stiffness is approximately 20000 and effective damping is approximately 4000 so initially we need to define this particular uh, damper section so for that go to click on the define option here on the top just i am selecting here define select the section properties in this we need to select the link support property okay so initially we need to add a new property so click on add new property option just i am giving the name as damper so give the name as friction damper let us consider f damper so again we have to select the some of the properties which are involved in this particular section so it will be comes under your damping exponential okay so here i am selecting the link property type is damping exponential again it will ask your total mass and weight so as per the consideration it will be consisting of the mass is 2200 kg and weight is 0.225 okay so here i am entering the value 2200 kg and weight is 0.225 approximately here okay so now we can see these are the properties which are involved in this and effective stiffness is 20000 we need to consider effective damping is 24000 here we have to consider so for defining the effective stiffness and uh, the value of your respected damping coefficient initially we need to click on the direction value u1 okay so again u1 in the case uh, damping uh, is exponential we need to select the non linear also why because the dampers will be act as a non linear case also so click on the modify show option so it will ask your uh, effective stiffness value so as per this consideration it will be consisting of 20000 value here just i am selecting effective stiffness is 20000 here okay and damping exponential is approximately here 4000 value okay click on 4000 value and you can enter the value if you are consider this respected uh, remaining section of the f stiffness damping and damping exponent so here i am selecting one value for the damping exponent remaining will be zero click on okay option so again in the same process we have to click on the okay option for this particular definition so now we have to select the link one property click on delete option click on okay now we have to assign the uh, dampers for this building so for that just i am selecting plan view here which has comes under the uh, base level here click on apply option click on okay so that it will display your respected plan view for the base so again in the same process we have to select the elevation section which is comes under the one value click on apply option click on okay okay you can apply the dampers as per your consideration okay so for assigning the dampers case just we have to click on this respected draw links option okay so you can select this particular option again i am selecting this property this property okay so in the same process we have to add the opposite direction x type damping coefficient also just i am selecting this uh, link property option and we have to select the friction damper property click on this property option again click on this property option in the same process we have to assign the alternative position for the remaining sides also now we can see i was applied the dampers for all the uh, sides 
which are related to the one level four level and a level and e level for the ground story now we have to copy that respected dampers to the remaining floors so for that go to select option select so go to select the uh, property which is related to the link property select the damping option click on select option click on close option so after that we have to copy this property to the remaining stories so go to click on the edit option select the replicate option and select the stories option here select the first story as well as second story click on apply option so that it will apply the dampers for the remaining stories for the building structure okay so now we can see it was applied the dampers for this particular structure here like this so now we have to do the analysis process for this particular structure go to click on the plan view just i am selecting second one so click on the okay option here and we have to uh, run the analysis for this particular structure before that we need to add the fixed support conditions at the base so for that just i am selecting the base option here so go to select the uh, all ground uh, points at the ground section go to click on assign joint restraints fixed supports click on apply so click on okay option so that it will display the uh, fixed support conditions at the base for the building now we have to analyze the structure go to analyze option check models click on one two three options click on okay so that it will do the uh, checking process for the particular structure so now we can see it was done with zero errors go to analyze option set load cases to run option click on run now option so it will ask you to save the model initially so here i am selecting my uh, g plus 2 building with the friction dampers case this time giving the name is g plus 2 option click on save option so that it will do the analysis process for this particular structure under considerations of the different types of the load cases so after checking the zero errors uh, we need to do the analysis process now i am doing the analysis process for this particular structure then i will show you the deflection diagram and shear force diagram bending moment diagram torsion diagram and designing process in e type software now we can see this is a deflection diagram under considerations of the uh, dead loading condition in order to see the shear force diagram click on display option forces option select spear spandrilla select shear to toe option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the building structure here like this click on bending moment option click on apply option it will display the bending moment diagram for this particular structure click on torsion option click on apply option so that it will display the torsion diagram for the building so after the analysis process is completed we need to design this structure so before that we need to add the strip condition system for that slab sections which are comes under the ground story first story second story so for that go unlock the model initially go to click on edit option so click on add edit strips condition click on add strip condition which is related to the second floor in x direction with strip layer is a click on apply option then after that we need to apply the strip condition system for the y direction with the strip layer is b next time selecting the direction will be y and layer will be b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the second story in x and y direction in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the remaining sections now we have to click on okay option for this particular section so now we have to do the uh, analysis process again for this structure with the help of the strip condition system click on the run analysis option here so that it will do the analysis process again for the building structure with the considerations of the strip condition systems now you can see this is a deflection diagram with the help of the strip condition system now we have to design the building structure go to display design design option concrete frame design select view revised preferences as per is 456 2000 code click on okay option go to click on uh, design option concrete frame design select uh, click on the stand designing check option so that it will stand designing check for the particular beams and column section under considerations of the load cases now you can see it was done with all designing section now we have to design the uh, slab section so for that click on the slab section view revised preferences select is 456 code click on okay option again in the same process i am selecting this option select the number of the stories option this i am selecting ground 1 2 option click on okay again in the same process i am selecting this option click on start designing check so that it will start designing check for the respected second story first story again it will be check for the ground story under considerations of the strip condition system for the slab okay then after that we have to import this model to csi detailing version for this detailing process now we can see it was done with uh, designing of the slab section with the pressure diagram here like this now we have to save this model till the uh, uh, designing section so we need to close this e tap software again we have to open the csi detailing firstly we need to import the model which we are already done for the analysis process of g plus 2 building structural model with the help of the a uh, friction dampers case so now we can say the software was open here click on the new model option select the desktop which is related to the g plus 2 friction select this option 
so initially the model will be open in etap software then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing version software in the csi detailing version software we can easily do the uh, detailing process by using uh, is456 2000 codal provision okay now we can see it was importing the data which is concerned under the uh, frame sections column sections slab sections as well as your respected uh, node point section under considerations so it will take some time for importing process you can see it was done with importing process of the all the section so firstly we have to select the detailing units and select the rebar section will be si system and this will be in ton section and we have to select the load will be in kilonewton section click on okay select the preferences use standard preferences as per is 456 2000 click on okay so click on the concrete detailing option change the beam option uh, cb option to the beam and cc option to the column and cw to the wall section click on okay click on the uh, rebar rules option here and you have to change the value of minimum cover and maximum cover minimum will be considered as 120 and maximum will be of 450 i'm taking as per my consideration just we have to change the value of the uh, minimum cover to the uh, 120 value for the beam section for the both a b c uh, c section so again in the same process i'm selecting the column just i'm changing the value to uh, let us consider 120 option and we have to change this value to 450 option so click on the ok option again we have to click on the ok option so that it will do the detailing process for the building structure under considerations of the uh, strip condition system so this is the floor framing plan this is the rebar plan this is the top rebar plan and click on the bottom rebar plan click on all rebar plan this is the all rebar plan directly click on the rebar cage view 2 option so that it will load the rebar cage view for the particular structure here like this in the same process we have to see the rebar cage view for the different floors now i am selecting the beam results click on the concrete frame design elevation section select any one of the floor just i am selecting 4 uh, b3 just i am selecting a section now we can see it was done with uh, loading of the a section which is consisting of approximately the combination of uh, two bars of 14 mm diameter a and two bars of 14 mm diameter at the b and at the bottom section it will be consisting of two bars of 16 mm diameter at the a again this is a b section this is a c section and this is a d section in the same process you can click on the rebar cage view so that it will load the rebar cage view for the building structure under consideration here like this in the same process i'm selecting the column detailing next i'm selecting elevation section c1 section so you can select the section here like this now you can see it will show you the column reinforcement details here like this you can select the rebar cage view option so that it will load the rebar cage view for the particular structure under considerations of the uh, friction dampers case okay so this is a complete process of analysis and designing of a g plus 2 building structural model with the help of the friction dampers case by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you